Welcome back to Brennerman Gaming. We are back with some Wario World. And uh, hopefully we're going to finish off World 1-2. Um, uh, let me turn that down a touch. Uh, Greenhorn Ruins. I think we just need the treasures. Yeah, we got all the gold and diamonds and sprites. We just need two more treasures here. So we should be able to find that. I think it might be one of those things where they start... You know, having you backtrack for it, you know. Have the buttons start later and... Or have the buttons be... God, this is loud. Uh, have the buttons be at the back of the track and have the treasures be later, but who knows. Also, I think we just climbed up this thing before. There might be treasure down here. No. No treasure. But we are stacking them coins, I'll tell you what. We are a true Wario with these coins. But we're gonna go slow. I, I should have memorized the pattern we went last time, but, you know, we're just having some fun on these first few worlds, you know. This is the true Wario world way. You have fun on the first few worlds, and then you just, you start to uh, get real frustrated. I don't want to say around what world, but you will feel what world I'd start to uh, feel the rage in this game. I thought that was a sprite noise, the noise this guy was making. Hopefully we can also kill the boss in this level. Or in this uh, episode. Yeah, I don't think you can progress through the game if you don't kill the bosses. Because I think it says on this you need three objectives. Yeah, you need the fallen boss. Well, I don't think you need the hearts. Yeah, but I think you need to whip the boss. I think it says at the beginning of each level what you need to do to progress. Come on, come on. Good luck. Not the endless nipples. Whoa, can I see through the... That was just a weird... Gl yeah, whoa. That is just end textured area. Back in the days. Before patches, baby. Gotta love it. These Tyrannus Stegosauruses are uh, a little out of place, I gotta say. And I think last time we went up and to the left, so we might want to go down. Poop! I feel like Wario... Jesus. Is the anti-hero of the Mario universe. He gets shit done, but like... Does he have any... I guess Waluigi's his friend. And he's not getting, really getting stuff done for the right reasons. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's what's to the right. Okay, can we go over here? We're combing this. And, uh... <laughs> I don't want to say obviously, because there is kind of a swimming animation when you come out of the tunnels, but you cannot swim in this game, oddly enough. It just instantly sends you down to the little unicorns. Okay, so I think we got everything over here. Is it going to put us back? Oh! Oh, okay. That is weird. I thought we would have to deal with that alien fucker again. Maybe since we saved, or... I don't know. I feel like that guy was just spawns every time you have to pass him. Get out of here! Two birds, one stone! Get out of here! Uh, and that's just a shortcut. Yeah, okay. I, uh, yeah, I'm also, I've talked about it before, but I really kind of want to max out the coins in this game. It's just something about it. Okay, I, I don't know if we've gone way down there yet, but I'm not seeing a way to do that without just punting myself into the lair. Wait, this is exactly where I came from. I thought somehow that was lower. Getting confused here. Okay, here we go. Oh, Jesus. Okay, but I did see a button. I did see a button. Uh, yeah, let's just go for that button, maybe. If I can get back up there. Huh. Son of a bitch. Does this... This does not give me extra height. No. God, I just gotta go all the way... Get my ass all the way around, huh? Okay, this is the button. Or is that a different button? Um, let me just smash all these. 
Oh my god, Wario, you fuck. Oh. Am I not supposed to smash that? If the treasure's like right there, I'm gonna be pissed. I, I don't think I can jump and smash. Oh, I can jump and smash. It is just a fucked hitbox. And this guy's just shooting like moons at... Okay, there's nothing up there. Okay. Sorry, buddy. But everyone's blocking my way. Okay, I gotta go back because there's definitely a treasure around here. I can sniff... Oh! And I, somehow I got up. <laughs> um, so... Oh, I see the treasure! No! God damn it. Okay, yeah, let's get you over here and bounce on your head. We gotta do some, uh, tricky physics. <laughs> oh, everyone's not liking that. Okay, what was that? That was a... What the fuck? No, that was the Voss. The Vase. The Vase, the Voss, the Voss, the Vase. Um, so we need one more treasure, then we're done with this area. Well, we gotta just take care of the boss. I'm hoping it's not the boss I think it is, because if it's the boss I think it is, we might actually die on World 2. I definitely remember playing it with my buddy Josh from Georgia. You know, <laughs> that's a long title, but I'm good, just gonna keep calling him Josh from Georgia. My buddy Josh from Georgia. Uh, I mean, granted, it was like 3 a.m. or something, but I died to that fucking boss a lot. Um, huh. Oh no, we got a trophy up here. That's right. A suspicious trophy. Uh, uh. Um, okay, so I, I'm gonna take it. It's low, or it's further on in the level. Let's keep going. But you know what? I'm wanting these coins now. <laughs> and also, your punches. I don't think I talked about them at the last level, but your punches give you, like, more coins at the totals. Like, you'll kind of see, it'll do, oh, you got 336 punches, something, something coins, and it'll, like, multiply it and give you even more coins at the end. Um, it's a cool way to incentivize, um, you know, taking care of enemies, because without that, it's just like, oh, I'm gonna avoid all these guys. Which I kind of tend to do most of the time because I literally just uh, did these guys and they just spawned back. <laughs> but like if you get a thousand punches or some shit, you get a lot of coins. And um, what was I? I don't think our punches spawned back because um, there's no way I was at fucking 300 punches already. And I am so lost in the sauce right now. I am... <laughs> Okay, so how do I progress left? When in doubt, go or er, right. When in doubt, go right. Okay. Don't want to go right anymore that way. Or do we? What the fuck? I was like looking for the treasure so much. I'm. Okay. Okay. That's what stopped me in my tracks, I guess. There's nothing... Oh, okay. Climb up here, then? Okay. Yeah, this is where I stopped from progressing. Alright, and there's no little rumble. Let's try going down here. A little slippy slide. You see, these levels are, like, very compact, but there's, like, a lot to do in them. More so than Banjo, I feel like. Which makes it hard, honestly, because you'll feel like you got the whole level, but then you're missing just one tiny area where you have to, like, break a box or something. Speaking of which, I don't think we've gone in here. I guess we have. <laughs> but it's like you'll need to break boxes like this, and it'll be a button. All right, here we go. All right, now all we got to find is a treasure chest, which should be up here, I'm guessing. Oh, God, Wario, you're so slow. I mean, you don't eat well, so it kind of makes sense. Um, I mean, it would make... No, that was already a treasure chest, so... Let's just jump on him. Uh, 
No! You tricked me. I wanted garlic. Here we go. Right before the end of the level. Perfect. Oh, and there we go. That's the first one I was talking about. I think that's the SNES. The NES. Classic system. I have not played many games on it, to be honest. I mean, it was... Mm, five to seven years before my time, but I mean... Obviously, with the emulator uh, on Switch and stuff, I've played, you know, and on, they had, like, games you could buy on Wii and stuff, so I played the Super Mario games and stuff like that, but there's a lot of good games on it, I'm just, I like the art style on uh, Super Nintendo more, and, I mean, there was a war back in the day, and I'm kind of lean towards the Genesis. The Genesis has a lot of cool, like, fighting games and like uh what would you call those they're not really fighting games but game uh, games where you like go with your buddy beat em up games i think it's like two player beat em up games where you like like streets of rage and stuff like that where you can just two player it with your buddy those games are awesome okay this isn't the boss that i'm thinking about this guy's kind of annoying but jesus <laughs> I for, honestly forget what we have to do here. I think maybe he'll shoot us out a bomb that we need to... Or do we punch him? Let me see if he'll shoot us out. Let's just... Pu oh, too slow. See, Wario, you need to eat some salad. Stop getting the Baconator. Stop getting the Baconator. Oh, shit. All right. Is this really what we do? Uh, this seems very counterintuitive like he's shoot oh no that's not a death that's not a death folks you'll see when a death is they'll charge us coins all right this is seems to be the safe place oh he's shooting them out like crazy now fuck you you know what's another great GameCube game? I mean, I think they made it on all platforms. Uh, I honestly don't know if they made it on Xbox, but fucking Rocket Power Beach Bandits, I think it's called. That game's great. I mean, it has no. It's one of those games that has no right to be as good as it is. Like you fucking ah. Uh, I think you can be any four of the kids and you shoot like hockey sticks and stuff, or hockey pucks with your sticks. Uh, against like robots and stuff it and the environments are so great like you go to a water park environment oh my god that game is so nostalgic and amazing to me rocket power was a great show rocket power was a great fucking show oh give me them coins baby Boop. oh and we're standing on the top like a badass Oh, I don't think it counted our 300 fists. Oh, wait, that maybe that was just against the boss how many punches we used. All right. All right. All right. I like how that's like his tired one. He's like, fucking all right. All right, now we're almost done with World 1. Just got to take on the boss here. Boss Kiats. I, I believe this is the fucking boss I hated. This is the boss that killed... No, it's not! Alright. We are chilling. We're chilling here. This boss is a little bizarre, though, I will say. I'm not gonna make any judgments. Um, I will say, I think he left... They, they left their curlers in. Oh, God. Thank God it gives me that thing, though. That little handy-dandy, uh... A vibration thing to know when his jump's coming? I don't know what you'd call that. Shockwave. Whatever the fuck. Fuck! Fuck! Alright. Uh, and I believe we got a... What the fuck's that move called? Ground Pound. Wario doesn't really have a ground pound, but he does here. Jesus! Jesus! Oh my god. Let's go, baby! Hope you got a sturdy neck! Oh, no! 
I'm seeing ducks. Can I punch? I can punch. I don't think it does much good. No, it just gets him mad. <laughs> Lower your tail. Oh, Jesus. Oh! I want all these coins. Hopefully, you yeah. can't. I'm being greedy now. I'm being a true Wario, but, you know, I want coins. I want the max out. Oh, my God. Fuck you. I jumped over that. I jumped over that. Also, I think this boss doesn't give you, like, an extra heart or half heart. I think it's just the levels, which makes sense. We're not collecting anything. We're just beating the boss. It's also very helpful. He's got the glue on his tail. <laughs> See the gorilla glue lady? He tried to like pretty up his tail or um, what do you call it? Style it and he fucked up and used the wrong product. Oh, give me these, please, baby. These are so juicy. I don't think I've loved collecting coins in any other game more than Wario World because it is just so many coins. So many. Oh, fuck you! You can't triple hit me. It is just so many coins in just a compact location. It's just like, gimme, 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 gimme. No! Oh, we're doing bad, folks. He's just, he's fucking us. And this is another early morning recording session. So my words are not there. <laughs> Most of my words are not there. He's spamming us. That's what I meant to say. God damn. Why does he have laser eyes? I don't like that. Jesus, this camera, he's putting me over. Oh, is he gonna take himself out to kill me? Oh my God. Uh. Oh geez. I feel like at this point I'm fighting, um, what the fuck's that dragon from Lord of the Rings? Schmaug. This is Smaug's lair. I'm trying to steal his gold. Oh my god, this camera angle. I can't even see myself. Oh my god, come on. We only... Oh, Jesus, the belly flops, man. I only need to last two and a half more hearts. Well, I don't think half... Can you last half a heart? I'm not sure if half a heart can do anything for you in a boss. Oh, no, it... Yeah, actually it can. No, oh, but we just lost it. No, get on the tail, Oreo. You are taking lots of hits. Oh, we got one health. Oh... This has to be the one. This has to be the one. We've jumped early a lots of times, so we're staying on. What the fuck? I just saw his tongue ring. We lost the gold, but that's fine. We beat the monster. Fuck you. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, man, that feels good when you complete them 100%. All right. And we get the key. I mean, we get an E key. So, yeah, you can... I mean, they're just making keys, so you can make them any which way. Oh, and we're going into, like, some sort of Halloween-themed level, which is kind of, kind of fitting. Yeah, we'll save the data. But, you know, I know it's a shorter episode, but I'm going to call it here because I want to get into the next level fresh. So, this has been Bretaman Gaming. I appreciate you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Have yourselves a fantastic day. Thank you.